In this session, I'm looking at prepayments in Xero, or as the scenario I'm processing in this, uh, this video, how do I process payments against an invoice that changes value in Xero? So that's the actual scenario I'm actually looking at, but by doing that, I will show you how to process prepayments. To view this video in high definition on YouTube, click on the little gear icon in the bottom right corner and select 720 PHD. I record these in high quality, so you should be able to see them crystal clear. If you learned something from this video, please like the video, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. And if you would like, click here to see other uh, training videos. So in this scenario, a shopper has ordered something customized. A deposit is paid for the item they purchased, and the price is not finalized until the item is finished. So what you would typically have in a situation is you would have an invoice would be raised and then payments would be received against it. But once a payment has been received against an invoice in Xero, when you go into the editing mode, you are only able to change the theme, the account and the tracking while there is still a payment a deposit against that invoice. So this means for our scenario where we want to change the actual invoice value, we would have to undo the payment, go in, change the invoice, come out, reapply the payment. So what I'm looking at is another way to do this using the option prepayments. So Angelina orders an engagement ring. I've entered Angelina's details here under contacts, Angelina's details, and, and I'm going to enter an invoice for her. Accounts, sales, create a new invoice and this is for Angelina Jones. It's back on the 1st of July and I'll put her name as the reference. Oh, is that that copy for me? And here I'm not exactly sure of the price, but I'm going to put $6,000 in because I've quoted her that it will be $6,000. But because of the bespoke nature of creating jewellery, this may change during the development process. But that is my invoice, invoice number 001. So that is my invoice, Angelina Jones, invoice number 001. And I'm going to approve that. So there it is approved. I'm now going to come over into my bank reconciliation area. You can see the deposits that have come in against this uh, ring and well against this invoice. And on the right hand side, I'm going to click on add details. Here where it says received as, I'm going to select the drop down arrow and choose prepayment. Now that should, that there is prepayment. That's from Angelina and the account is going to be customer deposits and I'm receiving that money in there. So I'm going to click save transaction there and click OK to reconcile that. And I'm going to repeat this process each time. So that's going to be received as a prepayment from Angelina Jones and customer deposit. I've set that custom deposit account up as a liability account, save transaction, click OK, come down here to the right, click add details, select my option prepayment from Angelina Jones and my account is customer deposits. I'm saving that, reconciling that. And here I have my final one from received as oh, received as prepayment from Angelina Jones and the customer deposit is there, customer deposit. And I'm going to save that transaction and finally reconcile it. So I've received $4,850 and that has the final payment for that invoice. But what I need to now do is click on account sales and I'm looking at the invoices and you can see here 
this is all the amount of money that has been received against this. And then here is the original invoice of $6,000. But I now know that I actually only want that invoice now to be $4,850. So I'm clicking here on Angelina Jones clicking on my invoice options on the top right hand side and then selecting edit, changing the unit price to 4850, updating the invoice value and then here on the left hand side it says Angelina Jones has $4,850 in outstanding credit, credit this invoice and I'm going to apply that, 1500 1500 1500 350 I don't want to do that until I've finalized I know the exact amount the full invoice should be I don't want to do it until I finalized got to that point I can then apply all those payments and allocate that credit so I'm allocating that there and there you have it I have receipted the money in against the invoice and that was an invoice that was perhaps changing in value during the process now what I have done is now showed you how to deal with prepayments in zero for the specific scenario of managing a variable invoice. If you learned something from this video, please like the video, share the video with your friends and subscribe to my channel and click here to see other uh, training videos.